want to do when replacing the bottle of gas is make sure your welder is on the plug. Then you're going to want to turn the gas off. So you're supposed to pull it out. Oops. Uh, no Teflon, don't put any Teflon on this part, right? So we got her off now. By the way, my name is Chicago. This is Samuel. Gotta give him money. A little bit of time sometimes. And then here you go. And then, uh, also, we are moving these containers we recommend that you put your caps on so that way there is no if you drop it it's not going to blow up and this cap's a little rusty she's on so it's on the other side Anyways, when you're picking these up, we recommend that you use your legs. Pick it up. And then when you're moving them, we recommend you roll. So, just roll it back. The, uh, it just hooks in there, and then we're going to take the cap back off again so we can hook this up. There we go. And grab this, and now we're going to put this back, and then Samuel's going to show you guys in YouTube land, how to put wire. Like I said, no, no Teflon, all right? And you get your, this is a 300 millimeter wrench. Give it a nice jerk. That's pretty tight. I'd say that's good. And off to Samuel, right here. Okay. Uh, you want to double check that it is unplugged because we'll get electrocuted. Uh, when you're taking your wire out, you want to make sure that you have a hold of this when you cut it because it will unspool on you. That. And you're going to want to take the tip, the nozzle off, launch pliers. Welding tip off. And then you're gonna pull your wire through.
And again, you want to make sure you hold on to the wire, otherwise it'll unspool on you. And then you're going to make sure it has a clean cut so it'll feed properly. That wire is called ER seventy S six S dash six. Kinked it. You could just cut it with needle nose pliers. Um, there's a little snippet inside of most needle nose pliers. Those are GM brand. Go ahead and feed it through. Make sure that all your MIG equipment is unplugged when you're doing this so you don't get shocked. <clears throat> and you have to be careful with the ER70 wire because it'll, uh, it'll, if you let that wire go, it'll loosen up and it'll bird's nest in there. And when and you're that, feeding this through, you want to make sure that your wheels are the same in diameter as your wire. You go ahead and close that. Flip that up and let it go now. <laughs> You're gonna plug it back in. Turn your wire speed all the way up. Make sure that your hose is straight. Go ahead and turn it on. Turn that all the way back down. Cut the wire. Cut your wire. Put your tip back on. This also needs to be the same diameter as your wire. Okay, put your tip on. And then put your nozzle back on. Okay. Turn that on. Make sure your wire feed is set all the way down. Turn your gas on. Okay, now you're going to hold the trigger down and start to adjust your gas. You want around 18 to 25 PSI. Go ahead and put there. And then we'll adjust it and you can start welding.